Short Questions, Short Answers by Tor Teacher Ariel and eBible. Copyright Tate's A Tor Ministries 2015, all rights reserved. Here's our question for tonight. What did God mean when he said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy? Yeah, we're going to be talking about the Sabbath tonight. FYI, the original ebible.com question asked about honoring the Sabbath and keeping it holy. And after posting my answer, the question was reworded using the terms, remember and keep it holy. And my original answer thus is going to reflect part of the originally worded question, in case you guys wonder. All still photography using this video is courtesy of unsplash.com. Using the Tanakh, the Old Testament, I couldn't find a verse that simply commands us to honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy with the original Hebrew word kavod for honor and the original Hebrew word kadosh for holy. Although Isaiah 58, 13 through 14 probably comes the closest since it employs both of these words across two verses. So that was the original question and so that's how I originally worded my answer. And it reads, if you turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight and the holy, the Hebrews kadosh, day of the Lord, honorable, if you honor, the Hebrews kavad, it, not going your own ways, or seeking your own pleasure, or talking idly, then you shall take the light in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. However, there are quite a few other verses commanding us to single out the Sabbath in special ways. I'm going to list a few more familiar ones along with the original Hebrew root verb used to describe the action listed in the Torah. So again, this is going to be kind of a little bit of a word study. Our first one is the word remember, which is the Hebrew zahar. Uh, We're told to remember the Sabbath in Exodus 20, verse 8. We're also told to keep the Sabbath in Exodus 31, 14, and 16, and the Hebrew word for keep is shamar. And then we're told to observe the Sabbath in Deuteronomy 5, 12, the Hebrew word also being shamar. But notice, notice, you can see from above that keep and observe share the same root Hebrew word shamar, yet are translated with two differing English words. The original Hebrew word shamar actually implies guarding at times. Within close proximity of remembering and keeping slash observing the Sabbath, we also also find verses such as Exodus 20 verse 8 commanding us to likewise keep it holy, the Hebrew is kadash, and Exodus 31 16 commanding us to celebrate it, the Hebrew verb is asa, that's per the NIV and the NASB. So you got to get out your Strong's Concordance sometimes and try and figure out what are some of the original Hebrew words behind the translation and how does that impact me? What is more, we find that God himself blessed the Hebrew word as Barach, the seventh day, and he made it holy, Genesis 2.2, a day which we know to be the Sabbath day. God also declared the seventh day Sabbath to be a sign, the Hebrew word is ot, between Israel and himself to expressly declare to the world that it is God who sanctifies Israel. Read Exodus 31, 13 and Ezekiel 20, 12 and verse 20. Go back and read these verses. The reasons for Israel marking out the Sabbath are numerous, but perhaps the two most well-known are, number one, to remember that God is the creator, Exodus 20, 11, and two, to remember that Israel was rescued from Egypt, Deuteronomy 5, verse 15. So, what are our conclusions to tonight's extremely short word study. When God commanded Israel to mark out the Sabbath, it often envisioned one or many of the following terms, remember, keep, observe, bless, sanctify, celebrate, sign, as well as others I may have missed in this brief word study. What does it mean to honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy? At the very least, we can conclude that it means to take God at his word and make his seventh day Sabbath a special day in our lives and in our communities. Moreover, as a witness to our unsaved brothers in national Israel, since we of remnant Israel affirm that Yeshua Jesus is the embodiment of Sabbath peace and Sabbath rest, read Matthew 12, 8, Mark 2, 28, Luke 6, 5, Matthew 11, 28, Hebrews 4, 3, 9, and 11. The Sabbath rest concept was obviously given to Israel to also teach her about this vital spiritual reality catch that, people. If you're not noticing Yeshua in the Sabbath, you're missing it. And since national Israel has yet to receive her Messiah, then we know that she is yet to experience genuine and lasting Sabbath peace. So, why not take some time today and pray for the peace 
of Jerusalem. Psalm 122 verse 6 says, Sha'alu shalom Yerushalayim yishlu hava'ik. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they be secure who love you. Check out my podcasts, which are available on iTunes. You can search for me in the store under the search term Ariel Hanavi. But if you prefer to watch your theology, check out my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the bell for notifications. New content is added weekly or even daily.